So I'm going to just go over this process. It's really simple, it's really easy, and it doesn't take a lot of time either, but it is a little different from what you were doing before, and there's a couple really key parts to this um, that I want you to do. Once you're ready to download your new images, the first thing you need to do is need to make a new folder that says Project 2. We don't, the biggest thing you can, or the, one of the biggest problems you can have, it's not a huge problem, but it can be a big problem, is by is accidentally putting your your new assignment in an old folder you know f so putting the in project one or something like that so we want to eliminate that possibility so I'm just in my pictures folder here in my account so I'll just do the same thing you can right click here you can right click here um, actually I can't because I just clicked on an image <coughs> so I'll just go over here to the folder and I'm going to um, come on New folder. Oh, it's right there in the middle. So I'm going to click on new folder and we'll just call this project two. Then what you're going to do is uh, you have you you have your your camera card and you've got your camera your card reader. You've plugged those in and you should see it on the de the desktop here. It'll say EOS Digital, just like that one. Um, and as long as your project two folder is in the correct place, remember we don't put it in your home folder. You don't put it in the pictures folder, you put it in the media students folder. So I have it on media staff here, but you should be, if you click, see it's usually set to favorites view here in the bridge. If you click to folders, you'll see there's media students right there at the top. You can open it up and you can find your folder really easily there and create yourself a new folder. So I've got uh, my, my account here and I've got project two. And you can see there's nothing in Project 2 right now. So what I'm going to do is, in the bridge, all you have to do is go File, uh, Get. why isn't it not working? It did this to me last time, too. <clears throat> Let's try this again. Bridge. Yeah, get, see, now it's working. I, it's like I had to click on the, heart, on the, the drive, the uh, camera card, to get it to, to do it. But anyway. You go File, Get Photos from Camera. And when you do that, it's going to come up here. It's going to search for media. It's going to search for your photographs. You'll probably see the first one right there. And now what it's going to do is it's going to try and put it in the Pictures folder in your home folder, which, of course, you don't want to do because you've only got one gig. And if you shot any more than, say, 100 photographs, you're going to fill that one gig within that first 100 photographs easy. So what you're going to do is the first thing so you're going to click Choose, and you're going to go, and you're going to see Pen Media FS is right here. That's the media server where your media students' accounts are. You're going to click that, and then you'll see Media Students, and you'll find your folder. In my case, I go to Media Staff. Whoops, wrong there. And then there's I've got uh, I've got my own little pictures folder in here, and uh, Project Two is right there, and I'm going to choose that one. Then what you're going to do is it wants to create subfolders. It wants to create a whole new folder for every day you photographed because each image has a date and a time attached to it. This is bad because what it'll do is it'll make it really difficult for you to, um, to edit them, to see your assignment as a whole and start saying this one's good, this one's bad if you've got 15 folders inside there. So we're going to turn that one off. We're going to go to None. And then here, this is, the, this is the other important part. What I want you to do is under Rename Files, I want you to rename the files with today's date. And what that's going to do is it's going to tell you the date that you downloaded them. That way, if you shoot again tonight, you come back in tomorrow and you download a second set, they'll have a different set of names. And that way it'll be a little easier for you to find all of your images. Um, and it works out really well. A lot of people will prefer to do the shot date, the date that the photograph was actually taken. Um, this is fine with me. I don't have a problem with this. The one thing to be aware of, though, is that you, these little cameras have these little watch batteries in them, and then eventually those batteries die, and then it can't remember the date anymore, and so your date goes all, all off and then you don't know, you know what I mean? So you got to be careful about that sometimes. It's not that big of a deal. That's, but that's basically it. You either do 
today's date or the shot date, I don't care, but the important thing is now all of your images are going to end up in one folder so that you can edit them. And it's all the images from all the times that you photographed everything. Does that make sense? So they're all in one place. That way it's much easier to edit. You can really see which ones are the best, all that kind of good stuff. So once you do that and you hit get photos, it literally is just as easy as this. It's done. And now it's going to start copying the files right out of the, uh, the drive, right out of the compact flash card, and there you go. Let me hit stop because these aren't my images. I don't need them. Um, <clears throat> okay, and now you can start to rate them, look at them, <clears throat> preview them, edit them in Photoshop, and so on and so forth. Okay, does, does that make sense? So real quick review. You plug the card in the card reader, the card reader gets plugged into the back of the camera. Then you go file, get photos from camera, you choose the proper folder because it's going to always default to your home folder so we don't want that. You choose, then you make it not create any folders, this is important, no folders, and you rename the files by today's date or the shot date. I prefer today's date. And then you click get photos. And it's going to do all the work for you. And now the bridge is already open and it's open to that folder and you're good to go. Does that make sense to everybody? All right then. That's all.